Hello guys, welcome to this special video where I want to take a few minutes here to sit down with you and show you a video tour of my old school here in Bangor, Northern Ireland. Now this school I went to was called Grancha Boys High School, which was an all boys school here in Bangor, which I attended up until 1997. Now it's been quite a long time obviously since I've left the school. Now the school was demolished quite a few years ago and has been replaced with a brand new school that was built quite a few years back there. Um, but I have a lot of great memories from that school and I thought I would uh, share this video with you today and sit and do like a watch along and give you my thoughts and obviously and tell you a few stories as the video progresses on as well. I always have a lot, a lot of bad memories from that school as well considering I was bullied quite a lot at this school but overall I have a lot of great memories and I came across this video quite a few years ago on YouTube and I thought I'd share it with all my audience because a lot of you know on my YouTube channel I do share quite a lot about Brooke and Lewis about school I do tell you occasionally a few wee stories. I did talk about it recently on my new podcast. If you want to go and check that out, the Murami podcast, um, the link for the channel is in the description or you can listen to it on Apple Music, Spotify and all your other places where you can get your podcasts. Um, but yes, guys, I just thought I would sit down today and do this video for you and show you the school that I went to. Now, when I went to this school back in the day, it was obviously a different looking school compared to more modern type schools now. Everybody used to say it was kind of like a prison, <laughs> but really it was an old school school where uh, the classrooms were a little bit different compared to what they are now. Obviously the technology wasn't as great as what it is now, but overall I have a lot of great memories in that school and still have some friends that I still speak to occasionally to this day. Again, as I said there, I was bullied quite a lot in this school, but back then, the way the schools were back then completely different to now. By the way, enough of the, no negativity in this video. Let's talk about the positives and let's get into this and show you this video from uh, the school. Um, I want to obviously want to credit the guys for um, who filmed this. I want to credit their channel in the description below. Um, thank you for filming this. It brings back some great memories. I just I thought you know something I want to share this with all my audience to try and help grow their channel too as well. Anyway, enough of me talking nonsense here. Let's get into the video and let's take a look at my old school. Grantia Boys High School. Yeah, all boys school. Not very many more of them about these days anyway. Let's, let's get into the video, guys. It's all the cheesy music, eh? <laughs> all the old teachers. Look at the classrooms back then, guys. Then, guys, I tell you. No, that's the old library. My goodness. The lecture theatre. God. And there she is. The badge. Which is now used for another school in Bangor. Bangor Academy School. Which is strange. And it's like, ah, there she is. Right there, guys, at the front. As you can see, opened in 1974. I used to, used to stand there every day waiting for my bus to get back home. God, they were the days, I'll tell you. Right to the left-hand side there is where the uh, canteen was. Up there is where the principal office was and all the other offices for the secretaries and stuff. Over to the right-hand side there, you had like a like an open area type room where you used to like, meet up and stuff like that there but in that big room there right in front of you and I is the uh, assembly hall where you used to have PE and obviously assembly in the mornings up the top left hand oh the top left hand side is the old library which we'll show you that shortly but up the top there again now is the classrooms my god the good old front entrance I remember those days like it was yesterday actually being in that school gee whiz some good memories there's one of the guys there who actually created this video this was been filmed a few years ago. School motto. You know, still this day I can't pronounce it. <laughs> well, there we go, the assembly hall. A lot of Bob memories in there, guys. I was bullied quite a lot when I was in that room. Just over in the far right-hand corner over there, I was actually attacked one day and covered with the, the foam of a fire extinguisher, which was a nightmare. That's always how I remember that hall. Bob memories. Do you know I was actually going to hold a wrestling show in that hall when I raced to run my wrestling promotion back in the day? But I never managed to get it all done in time until the... Uh, the school was closed. Now here's one thing I only ever seen a handful of times. Uh, the big organ, the big famous organ, used to sit behind the stage. All the all the instruments and stuff like that. Underneath there, guys, the used to used to keep motorbikes. We used to I guess I only ever won them once or twice. The old stand petrol motorbikes, you know, oh they were flip. Remember being on there, God, once near come off it. But underneath, there, underneath that stage right there, as you can see now, where they used to keep stuff underneath there, it was like a, it looked like a basement underneath there. It was kind of eerie and weird. God, the steps to the principal's office. <laughs> As we used to go up in the mornings and uh, we were like sent home sick or whatever, we were in trouble with the principal. Uh, there's the old, the old one. 
God, I remember seeing an old teacher drag a guy in there one time and kick his ass for not doing what he was told. Now, down here, guys, as you can see here, in here now, this is where the PE changing rooms were. This is where I used to get changed every week when I used to go to football training. We can see the showers in here. When I talk about it, I don't say the start of this video, prison. We need to see it. We need to see this. Look at that. Look at the showers. Now, you tell me that doesn't look like a prison. It does. It looks like a prison. Unreal. God. The showers were always bloody cold too, which didn't help. <laughs> always cold. That dressing room in there, the left hand side. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I'll be woman to die. I have to see I'll be woman about nine again. I haven't seen her for a couple of minutes ever since COVID actually, but she was one of the cleaners who actually went down to the, the mixed school then to mix the boys and the girls' school together. The girls' school from down the road. And she was in there. God, I remember being in that classroom. I remember being smacked in the hands by, by the ruler one time by a teacher in there. Because I stepped out of line, I was a little bit cheeky um, when I shouldn't have been. I know obviously I'm not the worst in the world, but I'm right smacked in the hand with a ruler in there. That's from the days when you got you already get smacked in the hand with a ruler. Even before my day in there, apparently used to get smacked with a cane quite a lot in there too as well. A couple of teachers in there were very fond of the cane, but that was a different generation compared to now, of course. Jeez. Just looking at these classrooms just bring back some heavy memories. It really does. You know, those, those were the simpler times in life. Oh, yeah, doors locked in. Up. That was my old music classroom in there. Mr. Ashton, his name was. He passed away not that long ago. I always remember him very well because he used to have a hi-fi system and his, his classroom was always was the same as my dad's back home. Oh, around to the PE hall. God. I thought I remember seeing this video before, it was actually locked in there, you had like a five-a-side football pitch, a basketball court and stuff like that, with so many great memories in there from like winning football tournaments and playing basketball, I think I remember it was closed, it? yep, closed. Hey guys, remember I said you about this looking like a prison, I mean look at this, look at the uh, the corridors, it's very old school compared to the corridors nowadays, this is, uh, these classrooms here were English classrooms. I actually ran into my, one of my old English teachers last year at a doctor's surgery, Miss, Miss Cardwell. Ran into her and talking to her about the old days of Grange and stuff. Look at the computer monitor, that's how long ago this was. Look at the computer monitor in the corner and the old uh, projector sitting on the desk there at the teacher's desk. <laughs> Gee whiz. There's some classrooms up there. Up in them classrooms I have my history class and all things like that. Now here's the thing here guys, look at this. Oh, the bogs, the torrents. Prison torrents they were called. The prison torrents, look at them. My God, compared to the, the facilities now in schools, it's just frightening. Look at the old torrents, ugh. Now, oh, remember this classroom, Mr. Martin, our old, uh, well, old English teacher of mine. Briefly, he wasn't like a full-time English teacher, but he was an absolute legend. But these classrooms, guys, were completely different. I mean, look at that. Old projectors and blackboards. Now you have whiteboards. You know, all these old... Just, I, just watching back this video sometimes just sort of brings back all those memories again of being at that school. Strange. Really, really is. I mean, today's classrooms are so advanced, it's unreal. Compared to, uh, you know, what we have. Ah, down in that big room down there, guys, is where I used to go for careers in the morning. My old um, head of year, Mr. Porter, used to be in there. An ex Glen Torn football player. Didn't know that until years later. And his wife, Mrs. Porter, was my English teacher in first form. I used to remember getting in there in the morning. He also used to have a school bank in there, too, as well. That room he's walking past there on the right hand side was the career suite, it was called. This big, we used to call it the luxury room where you used to go in and sit in and big comfy chairs if you had a free period and stuff. I mean, look right there. There used to be porter cabins and there, but they were obviously taken away by the time this was filmed. My God. And they, even that big fence there on the right hand side, that wasn't there when I went to school. That's why they even turned and said it was more like a prison. Look, it's like a big, a big fence to get over. But yeah, gee whiz, look at the memories in them classrooms, boy. Whew. Good times. The old blackboards and stuff, or green boards they were, but they're now whiteboards and all these digital screens now. 
Ah, one of the teachers' cante uh, canteens or restrooms, as they were called. We do, I, for what I remember here in this video, we actually lift the camera up and you can actually see the nicotine when they were allowed to smoke back in the day in the school. You actually see the nicotine still on the roof. Ah, here we go. Look at the photographs here of all the old teachers. Let's see if I can recognize any of these again. My God. Let's have a look here. There's quite a few there, actually. Johnny Gillespie. Miss, Miss Blakey called her and her brother, remember? I'm trying to remember her name. Ah, Mr. Porter in the red tie. That was him there. Mr. Byron, I think his name was over there on the right hand side. Let's have a look here and see. Recognize any of them? Mm, quite a few there. I sort of recognize the face. Ah, Mr. McLaughlin, the big guy with the red cheeks there. French teacher. It's a great dude. God. All them old teachers from back in the day. They must have been taking them nights out or something like that. <laughs> Strange. Let's see, there's one or two up here I see. Oh, Mr. Tilly. He was an evil son of a bitch. He used to beat your ass. So he'd have you stepped out of line. Lucky enough, I never got him. Mr. Andrews there on the left hand side, or the guy on the left hand side in the top picture. Ah, now look at this guy here with a beard. Mr. McKnight. We used to call him Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince. He had the big deep, deep, deep voice like Uncle Phil too as well. Ah, Miss Carwell, the girl in the right hand side there with the, ah, where he's pointing right now, it's the girl who I ran into in the doctor's surgery. And obviously she's a lot older than I, so, but yeah, it's her who I ran into the doctor's surgery a few years ago, or a year or so ago. Oh, it just shows God, I've been all them old photos from back in the day, all her nights out. There's an old teacher coming up here that Brooke actually had when she went to an old at uh, academy school for one year. He was also my technology teacher. Look at him there. Gee whiz. Flip me. Mr. Tilly. He was an E. I always forget to hear bad stories about him. It'll whoop your ass. And so, ah, there he is there. The guy in the white shirt. That was the guy that looked like him in the glasses. He taught Brooke te in technology for one year as well. Ah, this guy here. What was his name? I can't remember. We used to call him Mr. Bean. He used to drive a mini. He used to say he was Mr. Bean. <laughs> God, there's some of the old teachers. My God, Mr. Nickel. Miss Porter, her in the middle there beside the guy in the glasses. That was Mr. Porter's wife. She taught me in first year. That was great memories there. Mr. Pollock's there. Gee whiz. The head the principal's there. Oh my God. Miss Whittle, Mr. The Ginger Guy. All right, here. This is the part here I'm telling you about. I think I thought I remember seeing this. Here he actually pulls the camera up here and you can actually see the nicotine in the tiles of the roof. Even though there weren't smoke in there anymore. Look at that's how old that is. Yep, there you go. Look at the neck look at the yellow in the tiles. Look. <laughs> that was all nicotine from them all having their quick smoke. Now this is the part here. Oh, look at these. The old stirs are the prison steps we used to call them. My god. We used to take up the all the classrooms. There was one on each side of the building. We used to take you up. I actually came across a video of some guy filming of the um what do you call it? This this part of the building where they're standing now getting knocked down. Gee whiz. Scary. All the little corridors. Joe, I was actually having a laugh recently when I was at that home in the old jail there a few months ago with the uh, start of the year there with Sandra. I was saying walking down the corridors reminds me of being at Grancy School. There you go. <laughs> it was like a prison. God, but I mean, look at the technology and stuff I got for kids back then. You know, now you walk into a classroom with all these flat screen TVs, big smart TV screens in the wall where you can touch things and iPads and you know all these different things. Now back in the days, we didn't have things like that. You know, we just had a classroom and that was it. Now, yep, yep, here we are. Here, it's another classroom. Then there's more. You just gonna come for a second. Look at that monitor in the background there. My God, the library's coming up here in just a wee sec. There we are. There's the library there. This is where I used to go in and uh, read football magazines and try and stay away from the bullies. So we did back in the day. Used to go up and see, sometimes used to get the old wrestling magazines in as well. And, uh, oh, look at that computer. Um, yeah, trying to get the old wrestling magazines up there and read them. And then when the internet sort of started coming around right in the 90s, 60s sort of time, we used to go up there and try and get on to the old WWF website and stuff to see if we could see any news. But obviously the, the connection was crap. There's we used to go and sign our books in every week. That's the old library. My good God. We don't even look at the camera he's using there. 
And I'm saying there about uh, computers. Look at the computers in the background there. I mean, no flat screens in sight. Oh my God. I remember, I, do you know something? I, I look back at this video and just have nothing but great memories. Simpler times compared to now. You know, there was no Facebook back then, no, no Twitter, no Instagram, no Snapchat, no social media. Nothing. Not even MySpace. Oh, here we go. Where are we going now? Up the more stairs again. No, this is the days where you wanted to speak to your friend. You didn't have to pick up a mobile phone. You actually went and spoke to your friend. But I think this is where the history corridor was. Yes, it is. It's strange though watching this because, you know, I always wanted to go and see that school before it was knocked down. And I came close to holding a wrestling show in there when I was running a wrestling company back in the day to before the school closed. I wanted to do it now. I was to have a walk around the school before it closed, but unfortunately it didn't happen. There's a whiteboard there, actually. We did these markers for that. It's all different now. Jesus, look at that. Even the old textbooks and. <laughs> God, those lies. I used to hate those lockers. Those lockers were a flipping nightmare. That's where we used to go out and play football sometimes outside there and then there was a grass pitch way over at the far side and then there was the old gravel pitch which was a flipping nightmare. Now I've still got marks on my knees from this day. Oh look at this. <laughs> oh god. Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. My god. I think it was Mr. McClemens' classroom. He used to call him Pokey. People used to, never, used to never like him. I actually think it was alright. He was very very good. So he was. He was firm but he was fur. Now there's a classroom coming up here at the end, guys, of one of my favourite teachers, Mr. Black. He unfortunately passed away about six years ago. He took ill all of a sudden. I actually ran into his son and his wife there recently, but Mr. Black was one of those teachers where, you know, I'm still showing this, this classroom here, but I'll still talk about Mr. Black here. Um, one of those teachers where if you needed to kick up the ass, he'd have give you it, compared to teachers nowadays where my opinion, they're too soft. Back in them days, who oh, flip there's that pitch over there, the grass pitch used to be over the far side there, guys. And see just to the left here, these sort of bushy area there, that was a river. We used to go and sit there in, in, in the warm days. At either lunch outside, it was great. There's Mr. Black's classroom coming up there. Mr. Black was table one of the teachers. If you needed a clip in the ear, he'd have done it. He'd have kicked up the ass, he'd done it. But we came to the point where he had to suspend somebody or be firm with them, like, I don't know, take him out of school or whatever, or put them in detention. He would do it. He would always give you that chance to try and prove yourself. There's a classroom there. And he was one of those teachers that was firm with fur, and everybody respected him. God, look at the old things you dry your hands with. The old paper towels. What they used to cut the hands off you. I remember having, having the cold and having to blow my nose with them, and that's made my nose bleed. Was that tough? <laughs> Gee whiz, look at that. There we are. I was the old gravel pitch, see the far side over there guys, that's the old gravel pitch, used to do sports day on, used to do running track on it, you used to play football in the winter on it, it was a flipping nightmare, you used to cut the knees clean off you, especially when you were doing goalkeeper. There we are, now this is the area here guys, where you used to go and sit when you were waiting for your substitute teacher to pick you up for your class or whatever. Um, these two classrooms here, I used to have Maz and English in there. I, I was on the left hand side, I have a funny story about that room. I remember seeing a guy being dragged into my class one day, he was being a complete ass. And the teacher warned him three or four times, and the teacher just lifted him by the tie and dragged his ass down the corridor. And while he was dragging his ass down the corridor, he was whooping his ass because he was being a, a real wee scumbag. Can't do that anymore. This is, the, this is the open area we used to call us where everybody, you were say you're waiting for a, a substitute teacher in the little classroom you were going to, everybody had to ascend to this area here to sit. Plus you sat there during your break or lunch and things like that. And up at the top here was a tuck shop, which they eventually closed because people kept breaking into it. So they did, and they kept getting caught, and then the school just called, pulled the plug on it and said they weren't getting in the tuck shop no more. They even took the vending machines and all the way up at the top here as well. Just up at the very top here on the left hand side, beside those doors. That was the wee tuck shop there on the right hand side. You used to get all your stuff dead dead cheap. My god, you used to get like crisps for like, I don't know, 10p or something like that, if not. But yeah, they closed that all down because of people breaking into it all the time. We shits. <laughs> Nightmare. But that was the open area. That's what it was called. I wonder if we ever try and get in contact with those guys and try and get some of those pictures from that school as well. Even though we've got this video now, you know. It'd be nice to uh, actually have a picture of it, the pictures too. 
outside there on the left hand side where he's walking through the door there now is where he used to, people used to put their bikes which we scumbags used to steal them too <laughs> that's obviously look at that now it used to be filled with bikes every single day you used to have all the only bits you could put your bikes into and then eventually people stopped doing it here and I as we're just heading over towards the science labs and technology labs Obviously, oh, square space or we used to play tin football it was called we used to kick instead of a ball we used to have a tin my mum used to crack up me all the time so I used to bust my shoes just kick my ass for it for good memories that's the top of the library just up there above there some great memories in this school guys really really good and you know people keep saying to me how do you remember each classroom how do you remember something because people always say I have a good memory as well and I just remember all these things I remember certain moments in the school there's that fence I was telling you about a minute ago. That basically looked like a freaking prison. That was never there whenever I was at the school. It was just open where you could just walk out to that field. Now you couldn't. There's where one of my RE classes was, that big open area there, which was a, a cabin. Right, now, this is technology. Yes, technology classroom. My old technology teacher, Ann Brooks, Mr. Pollock. First on the left. I remember thinking about, huh, I still have stuff that I made in that class. I don't know, I was never in that classroom. I always remember seeing it, but I was never in it. Maybe I had it once. Never went into it. Strange one. Weird, weird classrooms. Now, this is where we're heading down towards... No, sorry, I just told you a lie. Mr. Pollock's class is up here on the left-hand side. That's where Mrs. Porter's class used to be back there. In that room there, that blue room in there, is an art room. Art is just down through that door there. And up where they are now is technology. I apologise, I was wrong. First door on the left hand side was Mr. Uh, Pollock. I was getting confused because the other card over from where Mrs. Porter was, my uh, first one teacher. There's that classroom I was never in. God, there's storm bins in it. My God. Strange one. Look at the old technology classrooms. Some of them haven't really changed much, but obviously they've got new machines and stuff like that compared to now. Obviously compared to back then, obviously these new high-tech machines. That, but back in our days, we just, it was all manual. <laughs> you used to go home with nips in your fingers and the vices and the, the, the oh, it was just a flipping nightmare. Now, this is art. These are some of the art rooms. And then from there, you go down to the bottom, turn right, and it takes you into the science labs, which those were fun days. Same with the bumps and burners. Hmm. A lot of boys used to think they were smart arses. Ah, Mrs. Stewart's classroom. That we always remember those set of steps that led into her wee storeroom up there. Never understood why they put a storeroom perched up like that. Never understood that. Ah, there you go. For the love of God, I can't remember his name and that that teacher in there, but his nickname was Jesus or Moses or something because he used to always wear sandals. I can't remember his bloody name though. For the love of money, I can't remember. I must try and remember his name. There you go. Now, I said at the start of this video, the lecture theater, we used to go and watch all your science. There you go. We used to go and watch all your science videos and stuff like that. God, they were somewhere. The old TVs on wheels we used to have back in the day. We used to have the wheel TV end of the room. That was the lecture theater for the science department. Uh huh. God, I remember seeing boys fighting in there and everything. Up at the very back one day, one boy just left at one end chairs, the back room, hit another guy in the back of the head. They were just fighting it. It was just absolutely insane. The guy lost a lot of blood and all too. It's insane. That's all it was. A lot of good memories. There you are, guys. That's the well, that's what the school looks like now. It's an ordinary school they built in the centre of town now, which put the boys on the girls' school together. But yeah, Grantia Boys High School was demolished, as you can see here at the end. Here, it'll tell you it was set for to be demolished. Um, in 20, 2008, I think it was demolished, 2009 or 10 maybe. So there you go guys. So there you go. I was trying to talk quick and trying to talk with you as the video was going along. But there you go, my voice actually quite dry after talking about all that there. But there you are guys, that's my old secondary school, Grantia Boys High School back in the day. Gee whiz. A lot of great memories as I said, a lot of bad memories as well from all the I bullied quite a lot in that school. Um, but the funny thing about it is though, you know, I look back at things like that and it was simpler times compared to now. And that's what I keep telling my kids every day, you know, kids, listen, it was a simpler time back then. Your school days are the best days of your life. Enjoy them while you can, because once you leave school, 
that's it, you'll wish you were back at school again. And I remember people telling me that when I was a kid and I used to laugh and go, yeah, you're full of crap, it's never gonna happen. But that is it, they were the simpler times. You didn't have like rent or a mortgage to pay or you didn't have kids to look after or you didn't have bills to pay or simpler times. But now, obviously I'm out of that school, what? 97, 2007, 17, 20, 25 years nearly. And it's just baffling how much the times went by so quickly. It really, really is. Scary, but there you go. By the way, guys, I just want to bring us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope all my friends from the Granted Days who see this on social media or whatever actually have a give it a good watch and enjoy it. Um, big thanks to the guys who created this video, which I want to uh, link their channel in the description. Um, thank you very much for making that video. I do appreciate it, and I'm sharing it with obviously my audience. And I'm giving full credit to you guys because it's your video. So thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, um, where I, I showed you around my old high school or secondary school, whatever you want to call it. Grand Boys High School, stop liking this video. Also, if you're new to the channel here on YouTube, please hit subscribe below. I'm hoping one day to maybe get a tour when the schools shut of my old primary schools. I went to one in Bangor here for one year, and then I also went to ones in Belfast. So I'd love to get a tour. I've stood outside the one in Belfast before on my vlog. I would love to get a tour. I, have, I was at it a couple of years ago, the one in Belfast, trying to help it. Stay out because we're going to shut it and it actually help the protest to get it open, stay open for everybody. I'd love to get a wee tour of that there and just show it on the channel. But obviously, with everybody's out of the school and the school's empty and there's no kids about and stuff like that, I'd maybe love to do that someday with fingers crossed. But again, with rules and regulations and all that, it's completely different compared to even when those guys filmed this one for Grantia. It's a completely different time back then, but we'll see. I'll try my best. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, stay tuned. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.